Bahrain, two seas to prosperity. The Kingdom of Bahrain is an archipelago of 33 islands located in the Arabian Gulf. The island nation, whose name means two seas, is just off the east coast of Saudi Arabia, with Qatar to the south and across the Persian Gulf. Bahrain has been ruled by the Al Khalifa dynasty since 1783. Sheikh Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa became ruler after his father's death in 1999. In 2002, Bahrainis voted in a referendum making him the first king and Bahrain a kingdom. Recently, the country has been enjoying increased freedom of expression and today is recognized as a liberal and modern Persian Gulf state. Bahrain is a, a very uh, free and uh, welcoming place for uh, com companies to come and do business. Uh, some of the things that characterize the economy here are it's a well-regulated banking system. It's got a very good record on uh, intellectual, pro intellectual property right protection and it is uh, very uh, open to foreign investment. These are the kinds of things that uh, investors and, and business companies look, look at when they're looking for a place to do business. Bahrain joined the United Nations in the Arab League in 1971. Since 1981, it has maintained close ties with its five neighbors in the Gulf Cooperation Council. With its well-managed economy and large expatriate community, Bahrain is the ideal springboard to the GCC for overseas investors. Already the financial capital of the Middle East, Bahrain is developing fast across several sectors, with many opportunities for investment. A number of large-scale infrastructure projects are attracting global attention, and Bahrain's profile is rising as both a business and leisure destination. Bahrain is truly on the move. Bahrain has been the preeminent financial center for the Gulf region and much of the Arab world for the past two decades. The oil boom in the 1970s and the war in Lebanon were the catalyst for the sector's growth. Bahrain, I think, made a decision, if I'm not mistaken, 25 to 30 years ago, that they wanted to develop a solid uh, banking infrastructure. And uh, their, lo their location is quite perfect, uh, being an island uh, centrally located in the Gulf. And um, quite frankly, all of the big players in the Gulf need a neutral zone to be available. At the, sake, at the same time, the leaders of Bahrain were wise enough to realize that if they brought in a Western banking system with that transparent level, that they could really uh, come up with a very unique model, is, and which is what they've already done. Today, the financial sector contributes around 25% to the kingdom's GDP and is the largest single employer in Bahrain. Bahrain has been uh, the financial center in the Gulf for a number of years. Uh, it started when uh, the problems arose in Beirut in the late 70s, and since then has built up a very, very strong uh, position in the financial sector. There are over 380 financial institutions registered in Bahrain. Uh, there's a very large financial uh, community. Um, we've got regionally owned institutions, internationally owned institutions, and of course Bahraini uh, owned institutions. So this makes Bahrain an excellent place to do business in the Gulf from. Bahrain's stable, well-regulated and liquid banking system has made it a regional hub for banking, financial and insurance services. The Bahrain Monetary Authority, or the BMA, is the kingdom's equivalent of the central bank, governed by His Excellency Mr. Rashid Al Maraj. It plays the role of the central bank and is the single regulator and licensor of financial institutions across the country. The BMA is known globally for its strict regulation, maintenance of stability in the financial sector, and transparency. It is extremely well respected by bankers across the world. Bahrain comes from uh, quite a long tradition of, of excellence in terms of uh, developing its financial sector. Uh, it's got strong momentum. The underlying economy is strong. Uh, the GMP increased by over 5.5% last year. And um, the government, as part of its diversification program, 
uh, clearly has identified the finance sector as an important area for growth. Uh, it has the momentum effect. Many institutions are already based down here. And uh, as far as one can see, it has an extremely bright future. The new face to Bahrain's downtown business district is the 1.4 billion US dollar Bahrain Financial Harbor. This landmark project, located on a prime waterfront site in the heart of the capital, Manama, will inflate the platform from which the kingdom's dominance as the Middle East's leading financial center can be skyrocketed. Another financial niche that Bahrain has become a global leader is in Islamic banking. Ever since the first Islamic bank was founded in Bahrain in 1979. The capitalistic model is based on cash, giving loans, taking interest. In Islam, it's based on a transfer of asset for a fact. And uh, this is a major difference because if you realize how the G8 every five or six years forgive 10 to two, 10, 20, 30 billion dollars from third world countries and otherwise, this would never happen in the Islamic system. Worst come to worst, you might make a bad business decision with a bad asset. In the capitalistic system, the cash goes to Swiss bank accounts and otherwise, and uh, who can find out where it's gone? There has been a surge of interest in Islamic banking in recent years, as consumers demonstrate more product awareness and investment know-how. International investors interested in regional Islamic banking operations should be looking at Bahrain. Coming up next, trade and industry. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. SECO Investment Bank. Known for its dominant presence in the major regional markets. Let us help you make the most of investment opportunities in the Gulf. Our unique and personal service ensure maximum returns. Seco Investment Bank. Extend your horizons. The Al Khalij Development Company. We specialize in real estate finance, feasibility studies, and investment in real estate throughout the Gulf and beyond. We are involved in some of the Gulf's largest real estate projects, like Tala Island and the Adhari National Park development. One of the biggest projects is the Bahrain Investment Wharf, a state-of-the-art business park with a total area of 170 hectares, attracting various sectors like logistics, industrial, and commercial. The Al Khalij Development Company, a pioneer in the real estate industry, creating mutually beneficial alliances with our partners. Real estate, it's our profession. Available at Bahrain International Airport, Gulf Hotel, and our head office in Manama. Avis Bahrain. We try harder. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. The end of the hydrocarbon era is approaching for Bahrain much faster than the rest of the Gulf. And diversification has become less of a good business strategy and more of a necessity. 
Bahrain was quicker at seeing this eventually than other states and has stayed ahead of the curve in terms of diversification. One of the main ways the Bahraini government sees to better its chances in diversifying is by providing an investor-friendly environment. Bahrain signed the groundbreaking free trade agreement with the United States in September 2004. With the implementation of the free trade agreement, uh, on one level, of course, uh, tariff barriers are eliminated, and this gives uh, companies who uh, want to manufacture in one country, say Bahrain, and export to the other, say the United States or vice versa, a, a definite cost advantage. So that's on one level, that's an attraction. Uh, but the other thing it does, it gives the, uh, a, a good seal of approval uh, stamp for the country so that when investors are looking for a place either to do business in or do business from, they know right away that Bahrain has met that high level of standard that we uh, look for in free trade agreement partners. For Bahrain, the FTA confirms its commitment to free market principles and offers great benefits to the local business community. The removal of trade barriers gives Bahraini companies valuable access to the American market. The Bahrain FTA also serves as a regional anchor for the Gulf. The agreement has positive implications both for Bahrain and for the GCC region. In particular, it opens up opportunities for Bahrain to serve as a re-export hub for its GCC neighbors. Investors choosing Bahrain can access a large financial pool through high net worth individuals in the region and a sophisticated customer base across the GCC. Alternatively, the U.S. Bahrain Free Trade Agreement provides new market access for American consumer and industrial products. As far as inv incentives for U.S. investors is concerned, the fact that Bahrain has revised its commercial uh, laws, the fact that uh, with the new uh, uh, commercial law, commercial company laws, we, have, we can accommodate 100% foreign ownership for investors in many fields. The fact that Bahrain has a high literacy rate, the fact that Bahrain has a leading, is leading in the education system and it has started to reform its judicial system. The fact that Bahrain provides easy access to capital because it's the leading financial center in the region, if not in the region, but the entire Arab world. Uh, Bahrain's currency is back to the dollar, so there is stability and also the fact that uh, it is a fully cosmopolitan society. This is something that the expatriates, uh, Western expatriates love about Bahrain. And I think this is of uh, utmost importance. On top of which also first and foremost, the fact that uh, we have a huge political initiative introduced by His Majesty the King. This gives the uh, country a stability and makes it uh, a very good climate for inviting outside investment. Bahrain is already home to a skilled and flexible workforce, meeting the needs of new and traditional businesses. Over the last 18 months, however, new initiatives have been progressed to ensure the strengths of the workforce develop even further in the future. Under legislation currently passing through Parliament, there will be support for business investing in training and development of core and specialist skills for Bahrainis, as well as government-led initiatives to encourage the development of sector-specific skills within Bahrain. The Bahraini government recognizes the need for world-class communications infrastructure to fulfill its ambition of becoming the region's knowledge-based services hub. Bahrain's attractiveness as a place to live and work depends on the availability of state-of-the-art information and communications technologies. As a result, the telecom sector is undergoing a radical liberalization process set out in the National Telecommunications Plan. The monopoly held by the Bahrain telecommunications company, Batelco, has ended, and the market has since opened up. A new independent regulatory body, the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, TRA, has been established. Well, since uh, the 
2002, when we had the Amiri decree to liberalize the telecom market, the TRA was formed and the TRA has taken the role of uh, trying to in, uh, encourage uh, competition and uh, having a, a wealthy uh, competition in the, in the telecom uh, environment. Uh, they also they have the benefit to uh, benefit the, uh, the, uh, the end consumer. Uh, with price reduction and uh, good quality of service. So they do also customer protection. This in fact would lead to uh, the businesses when they come to Bahrain for investment uh, in the telecom sector to have uh, an equal footing with the uh, current uh, uh, telecom service providers and uh, the incumbent. So, so the, we all in equal footing. Of course they still have things to be done, but uh, they have managed to be uh, above the rest of the region in terms of fully liberalized market in the telecom sector. Bahrain's Ministry of Commerce is pursuing a scheme to bring people closer to the institutions of national government. The public face of the e-government scheme will be the Bahrain Internet Exchange, a one-stop shop situated in the Seif Mall which is Bahrain's largest shopping center. The facility will provide a comprehensive public network which will enable citizens to interact with Bahrain's ministries, allow them to make inquiries, pay bills, and complete other government-related transactions without having to travel to separate offices. Improvement in the IT segment uh, and its relationship to the improvement in the investment, inward and outward investment, uh, has been actually proven by OECD actually. Uh, they showed, there's a lot of statistics that show there is a, d a direct correlation between uh, mature IT and direct investment. Uh, companies that move into Bahrain to operate in Bahrain uh, even though supporting health, supporting construction, supporting tourism, uh, they actually uh, try to use IT maturity as a criteria for them moving over here. Foreign investors have been able to compete for local and international fixed voice and data services licenses since July 2004. Bahrain has a strategic location as a gateway to the rapidly expanding telecom markets of Saudi Arabia and the Gulf, making it particularly attractive to investors. Traditionally, investing in real estate has always been a popular form of investment across the Middle East due to the Sharia law which prohibits the earning of interest on money. As the Gulf is currently home to large amounts of cash and height net worth individuals looking for an outlet within the region to invest, the real estate market across Bahrain and the GCC is booming. In Bahrain, particularly the uh, welcoming uh, investment climate attracted a lot of uh, investors from the region to invest in the real estate in Bahrain. Uh, and given the uh, relative prices of real estate in Bahrain, which is uh, compared to the rest of the region, uh, is considered cheap. And where the returns that can be realized is magnificent, we are talking in terms of uh, double digit numbers, sometime even more. Bahrain is a very popular market for second home owners, both locals and expatriates in the GCC. Many expatriates live in Bahrain with their families and commute to Saudi Arabia for work. Bahrain is an attractive place for home ownership because it is democratic, free, liberal, and accepting. Well, part of the attractiveness of Bahrain for real estate investment, uh, we owe it to the mature legislative uh, environment whereby legislations covering freehold and uh, expat ownership or foreign ownership of real estate are very much are in place. The law enforcement is also, uh, we can rate it as good in uh, Bahrain compared to many 
uh, neighboring countries. What is uh, new development is the willingness of uh, financial institutions to finance expat or foreign investors who are willing to invest in Bahrain today, which is an added uh, bonus. Because of its position as a low-lying island in the Arabian Gulf, it is very easy and cheap to reclaim land in order to ensure a prime location for a mega real estate project. Land is being reclaimed at an unprecedented rate to meet the demand of apartment buildings, residential developments, and recreational facilities. Constituting much of this development is the ever-popular joint resort and residential developments that offer all the amenities to residents and guests from spa and gym to restaurants, shopping, and leisure. Various projects across the kingdom boast a variety of attractions from island life real estate away from the bustling downtown Manama to the true desert spa and wildlife experience in the middle of the country. Each development is focused on a particular niche, thus creating investment opportunities for all types of investors and homeowners. Coming up next, tourism. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. National Car Rental Bahrain, the choice of cars from many of the major motor racing teams. Credimax, the leading credit card company in Bahrain. Traditional Arabian hospitality and personal service. Welcome to Bahrain's newest four-star hotel. At the Mercure Grand Hotel Seif, families and business travelers enjoy an ideal location. Next to all of Bahrain's major shopping malls and the closest hotel to the new Bahrain International Exhibition Center. Beautifully designed, our suites represent the best of Bahrain. The Mercure Grand Hotel Seif, a warm welcome awaits. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. An intoxicating mix of Eastern and Western cultures, in Bahrain one looks both to the past and to the future. One of the most popular historical sites in Bahrain is the 16th century fortress built by the Turks and later occupied by the Portuguese. It has been restored using original materials. Quite a sight at sunset, it offers a grand sea view and an escape from the modern architecture of downtown Manama. Tourism is very significant for Bahrain economy, uh, and we are working very hard in order to improve the tourism situation in Bahrain. Uh, the important thing for Bahrain is that we uh, need to combine 
our heritage, historical heritage, with modernity. Uh, because Bahrain is well known for its historical sites. As you know that Dilmun civilization is located in Bahrain, which goes back uh, to 5,000 years BC. That historical richness is really is a very important element in the attraction of tourists to come to Bahrain. Bahrain also hosts the third largest sporting event in the world, the Formula One. Every year, all eyes are on Bahrain when the racing elite sets foot on the Bahrain International Circuit. We're passionate about motorsport. Uh, we had the first um, uh, motor, uh, the, the BMF, the Bahrain Motor Federation, was the first federation set up in the region in 1952. So we have had motorsports um, as long as uh, many uh, international races uh, have been around. We just have never had a circuit. Um, and then mainly it was rallying in the past. So building a circuit was very important to us um, in the future projects and plans for the kingdom. The circuit was built in a record time of 22 months. And last year, the BIC was recognized as the best organized motorsports event in the world. This is why they call it the home of motorsport in the Middle East. After a hard day's work, one can relax in the many bars and clubs Bahrain has to offer. One of the most famous bars is JJ's, a classic Irish pub with traditional Irish dishes and great services. Bahrain also has a great variety of clubs. Club 7 boasts the ambiance of an Arabic flavored night. At the famous BJ's or Liquid, people dance to the latest club tracks, and where more than often, famous DJs from all over the world are invited to Bahrain. Bahrain is undergoing unprecedented tourism development with new multi-billion dollar projects being announced frequently. This accelerated momentum has drawn the international spotlight on the island and helped to reinforce its position and importance as one of the leading tourism destinations in the region. You know that Bahrain signed a free trade agreement with the United States of America. And this will bring, I think, mutual interest for both countries, Bahrain and United States. Uh, and we are very much interested in uh, investment in tourism sector in Bahrain because uh, we believe that tourism is one of the most important sector in any economy, especially in Bahrain. So that's why uh, we are looking forward that to attract many investments uh, in tourism sector. Uh, many investors are in Bahrain, they are building new hotels, they are building new resorts, and uh, we will see these projects will be uh, completed in one or two years. Thank you for watching Bahrain, Two Seas to Prosperity. The time is ripe to step on the wave of opportunity that is the Kingdom of Bahrain.